Do you know what keeps you and your electrical appliances safe from faulty electrical currents? This equipment called an earth plate. It safely dissipates currents into the ground, keeping you and everyone you care about in your building safe. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will be discussing plate earthing. In this video, we will understand what is this earth plate, its installation procedure, and the list of relevant standards that are applicable to earth plate design. But why should you listen to me? At Axis, we have been manufacturing earthing and lightning protection systems, including earth plates, for the past 30 years. You will find our plates used in substations, data centers, and thousands of residential and commercial projects across the globe. Now let's get into the video. Let's understand what is an earth plate. An earth plate is simply an earth electrode. An earth electrode is a conducting element buried deep in the ground to facilitate the flow of fault currents towards the ground. Earthing plates, also called ground plates in some parts of the world, are made of a metal such as copper, aluminium or steel. These materials are chosen for their electrical conductivity, durability and corrosion resistance. Since these plates are buried in the ground to create a low resistance path, the path guides excess electrical current safely into the ground during a fault or short circuit. This helps to prevent electrical shocks and protect sensitive equipment from damage. However, earth plates are larger than other earth electrodes to handle high current density, making them ideal for installations like substations and transformers. Therefore, in comparison to earth rods, earth plates come with higher costs and greater installation challenges due to their size. These factors are the main reason why many places now prefer earth rods over earth plates. Now, let's talk about earthing plate installation. Please note that the process for installing will vary depending on the type and characteristics of the soil. However, these steps will give you a basic idea on how to install your earth plate. Step 1. Select a suitable location for the earthing plate. This should be a flat, open area that is free of obstacles. Step 2. Clear any vegetation or debris from the area where the earth plate will be installed. This will help to ensure that it has good contact with the soil. Step 3. Using a shovel or other digging tool, dig a hole. The hole should be deep enough, depending upon the soil, to fully bury the earthing plate. Step 4. Place the plate into the hole, making sure that it is level and properly positioned. Step 5. Use a tamper or other tool to compact the soil around the earth plate to ensure good contact between the plate and the soil. Step 6. Attach a conductor such as copper or copper clad steel to the earthing plate. This conductor will be used to connect the plate to the grounding system of the electrical circuit. Step 7. Test the earthing plate to ensure that it is properly installed and functioning correctly. This can be done using a grounding meter or other testing device. Before we continue, a quick reminder, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for regular updates on electrical engineering. Moving ahead, for any product to work flawlessly, you have to ensure timely maintenance. Let's understand the maintenance. In general, earthing plates should be inspected annually to check for signs of damage or deterioration. This will include checking for corrosion, cracking or other defects that may affect the system's performance. In addition to regular inspections, these plates should also be checked after any major storms or other events that may have affected the earthing system. Overall, these requirements are minimal, but regular checks and maintenance are important to ensure that the earthing system is effective and reliable. Please note, it is also important to follow local regulations or standards for earthing system maintenance in your area. Finally, this is a list of the standards which your earth plate should comply to for manufacturing. First, IEC 60364 Electrical Installation Standards IEC 62561 Part 1 Requirement for Connection Components UL 467A for Requirements of Earthing Connections and Article 250 in NFP 70 Personal Safety and Protective Equipment So, these are the relevant standards that you can read in order to understand the earthing requirements. Covering the technical details of each standard is beyond the scope of this video. It will take too much time. I hope you now have a clear idea about earth plates. 
At Axis, we have a team of 40 plus engineers to help you design, install your earthing and lightning protection systems. We would love to know if you have ever installed an earth plate or any other earth electrode. Please share your experience and thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about lightning protection, grounding systems, and other electrical engineering topics.